Hey guys, Heather here from Tie Dyed Iguana, and today we're gonna talk about color change in reptiles. Now, I know a lot of people out there think that the only reptile that can change color is the chameleon. Uh, they're the most well known for it, they do it the most drastically, but there are other reptiles out there that can do the same thing that these guys can. And today we're gonna show you a few of those at our store that can actually change colors too. Now the ones we're gonna show you today, they don't have as drastic of a color change, like they don't change to as many different colors as a chameleon can, but they can uh, change very drastically uh, as far as like exactly what color they are. So let's go check them out. So first we're gonna start at our chameleon cage. We're gonna explain why these guys change color and how they do it. Now how a chameleon changes color, they adjust these cells in the top layer of their skin called iridophores and based on how they adjust them that kind of changes their color. Now chameleons they will change color to show uh, like stress levels, they'll also do it in response to temperature changes. Uh, like in the morning you might see a chameleon turn darker colors to absorb as much sunlight as possible and when they're at the optimal temperature they'll turn a brighter color. They also change color based on uh, social interactions with each other. The more riled up they get, the more colorful they get, basically. And then females will sometimes change colors to show whether or not they're receptive for breeding. So chameleons do change color for a lot of other reasons. It's actually for more reasons than just camouflage. Uh, camouflage isn't really a part of why they change color. It's mostly all those other factors I just mentioned. So here we are at our green anole cage. They're also another well-known species of lizard that can change their color very drastically. Now these guys, they will change color usually based on their temperature, on their environment. Now even though they're called green anoles, a lot of times you'll see them turn brown. Now once they turn brown, that usually means that they're cold and they're trying to darken their color so they can absorb as much heat as possible. So that's why you'll see these guys turn brown sometimes. You might think, oh, that's not a green and old. It can't be, it's brown. But no, they can change to a completely different color. And once they're warmed up to that optimal temperature, once they're nice and warm, they'll usually turn that light green color because they don't need to absorb any more heat. All right, for this next one, we gotta go over to our uh, good boy Slinky's cage. Now, Slinky is a green tree python, and these guys are very well known for their color change. Now, when green tree pythons are born, they're actually not born green. They're actually born yellow or a dark reddish slash brown color. And then once they get older is when they start to develop that green color. And the solid yellow and the solid red will start fading away. You'll usually see the green color develop in little speckles and everything, and soon the snake will be a nice solid green. Now, some morphs are out there of green tree pythons that don't actually, they do go through the color change, but not, but they still retain some of that yellow color. Uh, some develops all sorts of colors. It just depends on the morph and the locale. You can see on our boy Slinky here, he's got some nice white spots. They'll sometimes develop uh, some cool coloration like that over time as adults. He seems to get more white spots with each shed he goes through. So that's kind of cool. Now when it comes to changing color to blend in with their surroundings, the master of that uh, is actually the gecko. There are many different species of gecko, not all of them change their colors, but a whole bunch of them do. And with geckos, the color change is mostly due to uh, blending in with their environment so that they can camouflage themselves and hide from predators. Now, a good example of this are like uh, crested geckos, marbled geckos. I know our marbled geckos will sometimes turn lighter and darker just depending on where they're sitting at. Leechy geckos, they'll do it. Uh, they blend in really well with their surroundings. Gargoyle geckos are another good example of ones in the pet industry that will change color to blend in. And then with your geckos, uh, sometimes the babies will have different colors than the adults. They'll sometimes develop brighter colors, darker colors. Um, that's why when we sell a crested gecko as a baby, uh, we can't always guarantee what color they're going to be as an adult because they sometimes change. So now for our last lizard here that really changes color quite a bit is the actually the bearded dragon. 
uh, the Beer Dragon and the Rankin's Dragon too. Basically the Pagona genus. Now bearded dragons, if you've ever had a male adult bearded dragon, you probably notice that sometimes they'll get to feeling a little bit territorial. And when that happens, sometimes their beard will turn a solid shade of black. And sometimes this black will spread even to their chest, neck, sometimes even to their back or tail. So they can color change based on how they feel, how territorial they're feeling. Sometimes they'll change color based on stress. Like the, the females, if they get stressed, their beards will change to that black color too. So beard dragons, they don't change color based on camouflage. They mostly change color based on how they're feeling. 